Hello everyone and welcome to the Spore Marker and Partners YouTube channel. My name is Mitchell Parsonage and today I'm going to show you a free Revit plugin designed by Dirudes called SheetGen. I will leave a link below to the download section of their website if you like the tool and would like to grab it for yourself. If you would like to know how to download and install in a bit more detail, you can check out the first video in the series called One Filter, which goes into a little more detail on that process. So let's get started with SheetGen. SheetGen is a fantastic tool and taking a look at Dairoot's website, you can see that it can be used to create Revit sheets, place views and to manage revisions as well. This tool is available for versions of Revit 2017 all the way through to 2022. Let's start by taking a look at the interface as always. From the Dairoot's tab in your Revit, you can open the SheetGen tool. Now you do have to have at least one sheet created in your project at the beginning. You need to have a sheet because that sheet that's created is used as a template to create additional sheets. Sheet Gen again is a modal window where you can double click Sheet Gen and you can continue to interact with your model in the background. Double click Sheet Gen to bring the tool back up again. There are three tabs in the UI, Sheet List, View List, and then Revision List. Starting with sheet list, you'll see that I have a list of all of the sheets that I have in my project in this screen. I only have one currently. And if I would like to, I can tick that and I can perform batch actions on it, such as duplicate or delete. I want to start by creating some new sheets. So I'm going to click add new sheet. The number of sheets I want to create, I'll input three for this example. Then it says, please select a sheet that will be used as a template. I only have that one sheet. And what the template does is it copies the information from your title blocks, but it also keeps placeholders for the views that are placed onto that sheet. But I'll go ahead and create this and I'll see that three sheets get created. And of course I could go and rename those. So let me just do that quickly. And if I just minimize this quickly and I go to my actual sheet, I'll see that I've got three views on here. One is a floor plan, one is a section call out, and then one is a normal section view. So I've got three views. Now what the template does is it essentially demarcates these areas over here um, as blank spaces and the new sheets that get created, but you can put any views that you want in place of these three views in the same location. So if I go back to my sheet gen tool, before actually creating these, I can go to my view list. So in view list, you'll see that I have my original sheet up here at the top with three views that are placed onto it. And then below I have my new sheets that are going to get created and I have none in terms of views. So I have the view type, but I don't have any views placed. And this is where you can actually go and assign views to each of these sheets. So for example, I could click on the little ellipse. I could choose anything that I wanted to choose from here in the floor plan type. I can change my view type to anything else that I would like. So I can do just a normal 3D view, for example. Then I can go and I can place, let's say, an area plan. And then finally, I will go and place an elevation view, for example. Now I could repeat that process with all my other sheets that I have created as well. I'm not gonna do that in this case, but the option is there. I can also choose to show existing sheets or hide them. So if I untick it, I will just get a list of my new information. If I move over to revision list, I can choose to place revisions on these sheets as well. So if I hit the little drop down here, I only have two revisions currently. I can tick as many revisions as I want to place them into that sheet. I can tick one, I can tick the other, or I can tick several to add to that sheet. I've also got a parameters section over here, which allows me to add information to my revision list. If I go back to my view list, I have got a view manager over here, which basically keeps track of all of the views that I have in my project, allows me to assign a view template to those views as well as modify the scale. There is an awful lot of information that you can actually do here. And I've got a parameters section of my view manager over here, which allows me to add parameters. I've also got back actions for duplication. If I go back to my sheet list, I'm actually gonna go ahead and create these sheets. So I'm gonna hit execute down here. I'll see that my three sheets are created. And let me go and have a look at them quickly. So the first one, if you remember, I created and I placed the three views on. You can see that I have my three views and then I can go ahead and position them as I need to. 
The other two, I did not place any views, but all of my information in my title block you can see has come through. The great thing about this is that I can still go and I can edit my information after the fact. So it's a really good management tool as well. If I go back to my sheet gen, I can make additional adjustments here. So I can go to my view list, I can swap out views currently on the sheets or any other views that I would like. Going to the import export, I can export this sheet list to an Excel file. So I'll just call it views. Okay, I can open that file and I can see that I get a sheet list over here with the template, the sheet name, uh, the sheet number, and then I've got the, the views that are on those sheets. If I go back to my sheet list and I would like to duplicate some views, let's say for example, I wanna duplicate the original sheet that I had. I can tick it, go to batch actions, and I can click duplicate. When I duplicate, I get a couple of choices. So firstly, I can choose the number of times I would like to duplicate. And then I can also decide whether or not I wanna include the views that are already on that sheet, as well as the revisions in the duplications. If I leave it like that and I say duplicate, those sheets will get created and you'll see that I've got copy one, copy two, copy three. And if I say execute, those will get created, but you'll also notice that additional views will get created because of course you cannot have the same, for example, ground floor plan on multiple sheets. And because I've created multiple sheets, it will automatically create copies of that floor plan and I will place it directly onto that sheet. Of course, I could go back to my tool and I could swap out these views by going to the view list and I could swap out these views for anything that I would like to put on here. So not only can you create sheets from scratch or at least from a template, but you can also manage them continually using this tool. I can also add additional parameters to my sheet list over here. So if I go to my parameters and I want to add, for example, drawn by and approved by, I can add those across and then I can fill that information out here as well. Moving across again to my revision list, if I click on revisions, it'll actually bring up my sheet issue slash revisions dialog box in Revit where I can continue to add additional revisions. Adding additional revisions will populate to my revisions list, which I can then add to any of the sheets that I would like to add them to. Once I'm done with that, I can click execute. And again, if I go and check out my sheets, you will notice that the revisions have been placed. And there you have it. That is everything that I wanted to show you with regards to the Sheet Gen tool by Dyroots. It is a free Revit plugin. It is a fantastic tool for creating and managing your sheets views as well as revisions. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.